Hello! Just flew back from the lab in Iowa, and boy are my arms tired. Have you ever wondered how the lab knows how well their AR coating will last? Well, the test used to determine that is called the salt water boil test. And we just happened to catch one being done while we were at the lab and want to share it with you. A few moments at the whiteboard before I show you the actual test. You may have noticed that I have a cold or I'm sick. There's a reason for that. It was because I was traveling. As the old saying goes, it was almost like I was asking for it. I had my sleep cycle interrupted. I was in airports and, and planes. I was in all kinds of public places. I went out to eat. I went to the Y and worked out. Uh, we were at the Iowa State Fair. 50,000 other people were there. I was on the factory floor shaking hands, touching all the equipment that other people were using. After about five days, I was sick. <coughs> as if I was asking for it. What we're about to do with this test in the AR coating is kind of the exact same thing. We're gonna scratch the front of the lens, we're gonna score it up, boil it in some abrasives. We're gonna actually take adhesives and try to yank the AR coating off the front of the lens. We're gonna thermal shock the lens, plunge it into boiling water and then take it out and put it into room temperature. We are trying to make that AR coating sick. <coughs> Normally that would take about one to two years. You know, don't kid yourself, even the very best AR after a year starts to degrade. Might get two years out of it. And we're gonna try to mimic that one to two years of use down to about 15 minutes. Remember that the AR stack itself is actually working on the nanometer level, the, the one billionth of an inch level. You'll see that we use a microscope even to capture the, the scoring that we do and the lifting that might occur. The stack itself, it could be three layers, five layers, seven layers, anything depends on the manufacturer and what they're calling a layer. Those are elements and the elements play pretty well together. They, they have good bonds and they like to stick together and play together. So it's fairly rare that those separate as individual layers. The stack, if you took all these layers and slammed them down to the molecular level, this, has to stick to the front surface of the lens. That front surface of the lens has that thermal hard coat on it. That is prepped in a special bath so that these can hold on to the front of the lens. That's what we're testing, how well the AR layer is adhering to the thermal coat layer, which in turn is adhering to the front surface of the lens. This is everything. You're gonna see in a moment a, a pattern that we scratch or score into the front of the lens with a razor blade. If I took one of the squares in the six by six grid and you know blew it up, this would be my lens. And because my layers are nanometers and this could be a couple of millimeters, it, this wouldn't be terribly unrealistic. The layer that sticks to the top portion, this would be the, the front surface of my lens here, is exposed because we score it on four sides. So it is far more likely to have an issue with the, the chemical that we're using, the tape that we're lifting with, all of the things, to want to peel away from that little tiny millimeter section that it has. And by creating the grid system, we're giving it so many more opportunities to fail. That's why we do that. The first step is to score the lens. We do this using a basic razor blade, and we cut this six by six grid of approximately one millimeter squares. Just as I showed you on the whiteboard, this is done to greatly increase exposed edges of the AR stack or layers. After scoring, we move to the lift pull test. This is done with a special tape designed specifically for the test. The tape is firmly pressed across the grid and allowed to sit for 30 seconds. After that, the tape is lifted away and closely examined for any AR layers that may have pulled off. 
After the lift pull test, we get to the actual boil part of the salt water boil test. The salt is added for two reasons. One, it as acts as a mild abrasive, and two, it keeps the temperature more consistent throughout the beaker. In reality, this test is a thermal shock test. The lens is plunged into boiling water for about two full minutes. After that, it's quickly removed and again dropped into a beaker of room temperature water for one minute. Once this shock test has been completed, we remove the lens and we inspect it using this microscope. And the microscope allows us to take a really up close look at each of the edges within the grid. What we're looking for is any kind of failure or lifting around each one of the squares. Next, we move on to the hydro layer test. This is also a two part test. The first part test uses the lift pull tape, but what we do is we mark the lens using an ordinary AR pen, and then we try to peel that ink away, and hopefully it's going to remain on the tape, which it does. The second part of the hydro layer test is the water droplet. And all of you who are familiar with contact lenses or remember wetting angle, uh, basically it's the same idea. What you're looking for on that water droplet is that it's a consistent, beautiful spherical shape and the angle between where the water droplet ends and it meets the lens is good and sharp. It's an acute angle. And as you tilt the lens and allow the water droplet to run off, you don't want res residual water. You don't want a trail left behind it. Because we're trying to duplicate two years worth of use and abuse and kind of compact it into a 15 minute test, what we do now is run through this series two more times. Once we have the results of that series of three tests, we have these guides or rubrics that allow us to judge the results of each of the tests against both subjective and objective measures. What you're always looking for is a lens to score four or higher, which this particular lens does. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you are watching this on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button down there in the corner. If you're watching us on Facebook, be sure to share it with as many people as you can. Thanks so much. I am headed out on vacation, so next week you are stuck with a rerun, and I'll see you the week after that.